Photography is an in-flight entertainment, and it's basically taking things that you're accustomed to at home, audio, video on demand, and games, and bringing it up to the airplane. Uh, we currently offer this experience to about 100 different airlines, and about 5 million passengers per day get to experience this in-flight entertainment. The expectations of the passengers have really changed, especially in the industry where everyone has a tablet and cell phone that's smart. So what we're really trying to do to the passengers is bring them a very rich experience, something that's different and customized, but still has that same feeling. For Qt, we use it in a lot of our different development aspects. We use it for creating a certification application that's actually used to certify all the wiring of the aircraft before deployment. We also offer a wide range of different form factors that we use Qt, from the little handsets and game pads, all the way to the seat back monitor, and in first class and business class, the actual 24 to 42 inch monitors. It's this ability to do the development once and being able to run it on all these different devices that we offer. And it's really important for us because we have handheld devices, we have monitor devices, in the future we have tablet devices, we have a lot of different devices with different uh, architectures and we want to be able to develop once and show it on everything. So uh, the Qt framework really allows us to do that. We have alternatives that we used in the past that we wanted this fluid, really nice wow factor, interactive, and we couldn't showcase that because of the performance. Qt allows us to be able to have that performance that we're looking for. Some of the things that really excite us about using the Qt framework is the ability to really take the technical development out since we have the QML layer that makes it really easy for us to do development and really focus on the design and the usability of the interactive. So as opposed to spending all of that resource getting all of our memory right and the resources right and stuff, we can say, what's the end user want? And how can we give them that experience and make it better and really focus on the passenger and the airlines as opposed to the technology? We're able to work in an iterative approach with the airlines to really customize and nail down exactly what they want to showcase to their passengers. And so what QML allows us to do is work with the airlines, the designers, and the developers all at the same time, usually in the same day. Some of the ways that we're extending the Qt and kind of making it our own for in-flight entertainment is first of all, all the functionality that we have in a Panasonic in-flight entertainment, audio, uh, video, uh, games, map products. We're extending the QML language to make it really easy for developers to come and develop an in-flight entertainment application. The future of Qt for the Panasonic IFE system is really to bring in a sense of three-dimensional space. We want to really start utilizing light and, and shading and rippling water and still keeping the user interface very simple so it's easy to navigate, but really bring out the wow factor. And we want to make it feel like the passenger is immersed inside of this user experience. Uh, the other exciting aspect of Qt is the community. Not only how we're working with the Qt community, but how the Qt community is evolving. We're excited about the Qt project and how it's opening the doors for a lot of more feedback. So not only can we contribute, but we're very excited to see where uh, Qt is going to go in the future.